So the role of chemistry, as we see it now in 21st century, is not to create waste, but to make all we need in the most lean, efficient, environmentally friendly way, and above that, to help other areas of industry to reduce the amount of waste we produce. Queen's University Belfast has the Quill Research Centre, which is one of the most renowned uh, ionic liquid research centres in the world. After my PhD, I knew that I want to stay in academia and I got a very attractive offer to start my own research line. I progressed from having my own research to leading a small research group. If you think of chemistry, people very often have this very bad image of, of chemicals. Chemicals are poisoning us. But in reality, you know, if you don't want chemicals, you should throw away your mobile phone to start with, your glasses that you're wearing, both of us are wearing, uh, probably most of our clothes, well, all of our clothes, and we are made of chemicals. So chemicals are us, we can't get rid of them. The point is to make anything, we usually use what chemists uh, say, auxiliary chemicals, so it's not so easy to just make this plastic. You need a lot of solvents, you need a lot of uh, additional chemicals which are not really uh, used in the process, which don't come into the very product, but then they come out as waste streams which we have to treat. And it's not only problem of chemistry, I mean in many different areas of industry and in our lives we generate a lot of waste. Ionic liquids have very complicated molecular structure. They are liquids that can be tailored to do a job. It's like a liquid tools. So um, we designed, there is a huge research group with many academics, PhD students, postdocs, and we work on different areas, different strands of chemistry in order to design these liquid tools for particular application. It's very easy to make things, but it's much more difficult to make things which will be green, clean and come at attractive price so that customers can still afford them.